what's up guys and welcome to another video today we're going to be doing our first build video for the halo magnum the halo magnum is the pistol used throughout the series and it is one of my favorite weapons and i already have a uh replica uh like a nerfish one but i'd like to make one myself out of eva foam pads and this is going to be part one in a three-part series. Right, let's get right into this. I hope you guys enjoy. Right, first we're going to be uh, cutting out two outlines of the thing and then gluing them together. So first I'm going to measure out the top of this. So that is... Oh, let's see. 19 centimeters so we're gonna put um, our thing here nice and straight and we use that to straighten it and we're using a Stanley knife to cut everything this one it's kind of a shame because the that bit broke meaning that I can't unscrew it and change the blades which is kind of annoying and the material we're using is EVA foam pads, and it's going to be a bit tricky with this lighting, because I'm really praying that it doesn't get dark all of a sudden. Now we're going to measure how tall this thing is, and it's about 16, 17 centimetres in height. So it's 19 across, and well, so let me take this off. I chuck that over there. Um, so it's about 17 here. So I'll mark 17 there. Like that. And then we will do the 19. So at where the 17 is, we're going to mark our 19. So we're going to do a gentle line from the side. And then I'm going to add on a centimetre. And then I'm going to mark a... Like that! Don't know if you can see that, but... Right here. So there's this... There's the 17 bit. There's the 19. And there's the 20. And I'm going to just cut out a box, I think. I've never actually done it like this, so I can really see, I see how squint my line is, so what I'm going to do, this thing is, when it does this, it's always frustrating, see, because my lines always squint, I'll just redo the line. And we just, that's why I got to do a gentle line. Uh, my Stanley knife, since I haven't been able to change it, it's kind of gotten itself chipped at the front. As you can see, it's not quite sharp. I'll focus, come on. Uh, anyway, uh, it's not quite sharp, so it doesn't cut as well as it used to, which is a real shame. I'll have to, like, change the try to change the screws or something or uh, get a new one so I'm just gonna cut the box out I've never actually done it like this uh, this is kind of my setup that I use to actually make the suit my EVA foam pads and then I got old carpet with uh, some stuff under it uh, what's it called MDF and then I've got my glue gun on there, but the thing with my glue gun, sorry, uh, it always leaks, which is kind of annoying, and that uses up a lot of glue. When I got the glue gun, it came with 80 things, so I used about um, 60 on the suit, and... 
but the 80 was so handy. So, and I've used an extra 10 on like weapons and stuff. So here we have our box, which I'm going to cut off these bits and then I'll uh, cut uh, the shape of it out. And one. Oh, there's two. Um, yeah, and it came with 80, and I used about 60 for the suit, and I've used an extra 10 for, like, weapons and stuff. So I've still got 10 and a half, actually. Don't know why there's half of one in. Actually, I'd say about 12, 11 and a half, because there's one inside the glue gun. I didn't count that one, but... Right, now we've cut out all this, so that's a square, and we chuck our magnum on here. I've got this magnum as, because I want like a, two of them, which I find, will, I think will be pretty cool. This one is like a, one, a Boonco one, and it's pretty cool, looks a lot like it. And I quite like it. Uh, I don't use it to shoot anything, really. I just use it to go with the suit and, like... But I like one that I've actually made myself. So that's... One sec, I need to get a picture up. I forgot. Um, my, my cat is meowing at my door. And I can't let her in because, like, I've got really hot equipment, dangerous equipment. I don't want, like, her to cut herself on it or, like, burn her nose. Because she's a very curious cat. She will touch anything that she sees. <laughs> so I'm just going to do a very gentle outline of this around here. This isn't going to be, like, the cutting out one. It's just a gentle one. Oh, I shouldn't have taken that off. Uh, and this is going to be a wee three-part series. And next episode, I will be... I'll do one a week, I reckon. And... It's this episode, what we're going to be doing, we're getting the base outline. And we're actually going to be cutting out two of these. So cutting out this bit as well. And we're going to be uh, gluing two of them together so it gives it strength. I'll show you guys here. Like, oh, sorry. There's two. Uh, focus. Then I glue them together and then I'll like cut them to size each other. But I was using this one, which I've actually, which I actually used. This is the one that I used to cut out the SMG. As you can see, it just fits in nicely. But for this project, I got about 12 EVA foam pad, uh, pads and there was six in a packet and I was like uh, I think 12 no five I can't remember how much it cost but it wasn't too much it was a really good deal which I was really chuffed with and here we have our base outline you might not be able to see it because the lighting the lighting in my room I say it every video is awful but I've got a couple of lights in case it gets dark, but the right. but the main light in my room is about as good as a chocolate teapot. But so this is kind of a nervous, nerve-wracking bit. I'm gonna cut out the extra bits that we don't need. I'm, I'm not going to be using my heat gun today because I'm not going to be, like, shaping anything. 
so I won't be needing it. I was gonna use my hel wear my helmet, but I can't use uh, make the uh, well this while wearing a helmet, my Spartan helmet, because. So I've got my dressing gown, which is massive on me, uh, just to uh, cover my head. And that's uh, pretty annoying, because it does get in the way. But I'm just, like, cutting out the extra bits, and it it doesn't look like the gun at all at the moment. As you can see, it's pretty bad. And so I'm going to have to outline this bit and then I'm going to make these look more, uh, what's the word? Uh, standing, make them stand out more. Uh, but I'm sorry if you guys hear my cat. She is outside my room meowing her head off. Uh, I'm just adjusting the tripod's position because I've got it on my chair right now and I really don't want it to fall down like a couple videos back when I was painting my helmet it fell down but I started the project uh, I started building stuff out of EVA foam pads at my birthday because I was looking because I've always been a big fan of Halo and after I made my blue suit, which was around summertime, I wanted, because I didn't really think it looked that good, I wanted a better looking suit. So I searched up what's the best thing to make Halo cosplay out of, and EVA foam pads was the first thing to come up. I've made the whole suit, the red suit, as you guys call it, uh, out of uh, this and it's like other cosplayers I see the helmets being like exactly the same to the uh, to the actual games I wouldn't say my helmet is exactly the same but I'm really happy with my helmet I think my helmet does look quite a bit like the games, but not as good as the others. But they use resin and they mould out the uh, thingy. And it's I'd I'd love to get make a helmet like that, like uh, a helmet that I really want to make is the uh, what's it called Mark Five. No, Mark IV helmet. That's the classic. Uh, that's the first first helmet that Spartans ever wore. So it's the helmet that Red Team, the Spartans and Red Team have. And I forgot what this other one's called. It's... One sec, let me just check. Uh, um... What is it? I'm using my Chromebook to do this and it's really glitchy. Um, where is it? EOD, that's the one. It's the EOD helmet. And it's from, it's first in Halo 3. Uh, and it looked really cool there. Um, and then it was in Halo Reach, which is my favourite version of it. And I was going to make that helmet, but I didn't have the right amount of supplies. I wouldn't have had enough stuff, uh, glue for it. Because helmets take a lot of glue to you, uh, get together. Because it's all supporting each other. And then... I didn't have enough glue, so 
the helmets aren't you won't see tons of glue on it but inside there's a lot and the stuff on the outside mostly gets sanded off um yeah but it takes about 15 to make a helmet 15 glue sticks and i had made my dmr after i finished my suit meaning that uh, my, uh, the, uh, meaning that the, uh, the DMR took, like, five glue sticks, meaning I had 20, so I, I probably wouldn't have had enough. I just can't completely contradict myself. Sorry if I'm stumbling with my words, it's like, super hard commentating, co uh, with commentary. And I wouldn't say I'm good at commentary, uh, but basically after I made my suit, I didn't have, uh, I made my DMR and uh, my DMR, because um, I made the DMR, it, didn't, it meant that I wouldn't be able to make the next helmet. But that's the base of it. It's starting to look a bit like it. The lighting is starting to be mean to me, and uh, it's starting to get darker, and it's starting to rain. Wait, uh, I'm just going to try something. Does that help? Um, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Hopefully that will help. Right, so what I'm going to do now, since... I, once I finish cutting the base outline of this, which I think is done, I'm gonna do this bit and get that all nice. Uh, so what I'm gonna have to do is get this the same as that. Um... Oh, this is tricky. And then... You can hear, like, because my thing isn't completely sharp enough. It just does this noise. Do you hear that? It's like a ba 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 ba. Because it doesn't cut properly. Because... Wait, it might focus now. You see it's chipped. There. There it is. But because it's all chipped, it doesn't cut as well. I and, and if you look here, there you go. You can see that it's kind of broken. Oh, this thing doesn't focus. There it is. You can see that there's not the things going inside so you can't unscrew it which is annoying because when I was unscrewing it once they just snapped and that was a real bummer but I've uh, I just used this one but I'm gonna have to like get a new uh, Stanley uh, no I'll probably have to replace the screw which is gonna be hard because I don't know how I'm gonna get the screw out my cat's at it again, and it's starting to rain on my windows, because my windows are slanted. Rain just like, so it's like that, and boom, 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 and it makes a massive racket. And last night, it was like that, because there's m mad amounts of rain, and it was super windy, and I could hardly sleep. So there we go. That's the <coughs> <coughs> sorry. Uh, that's the bit done. I'm gonna have to cut that out, and then I'll be actually be able to hold it. But I'm gonna have to make another one so it's actually sturdy. But the beauty of EVA foam pads is that it's super tough, and you can not. Well, it's really hard to rip it, like, 
for example, this. This poxy bee bit. It doesn't rip. Well, it does rip, but it's pretty tough. Ugh. Yeah. But, that's one of the other, that's why I really like it, because it's just so durable. Um, and it's flexible. You can mould it, it's easy to cut. And it's just great. I, I never actually thought I'd ever make a halo suit, uh, like an actual halo cosplay. I always saw like uh, the Big Bang Theory and then going to Comic Con. And I never thought I'd ever go to a Comic Con, but now I am and I'm super excited. That's on April 7th, I think. Now this bit is the tricky bit because i got to get this out and it's not coming out because it's being... Oh, never mind. I just pulled it out. There we go. It should pop out. Now I can hold it. And here's another reason why I have two bits. Because it's got the pattern on the back that I don't want to have. But that's looking pretty nice. Actually looks quite a bit like the Magnum. And I'm really pleased with that already. Bang. It looks like a massive gun. <laughs> um, right, so what I'm going to do now, i got to get these wee bits. So... Cut a wee chunk out from the front, and then I hate it's really hard cutting out wee bits because it's so small and your and the knife just slides off. But like that wee bit at the front, and then I'll do the same here. And then I cut a tiny bit off that, because it's got to look a bit smaller. And now I've got to do this from the top. And I... Oh, that, that didn't work out. A bit just... Mm, that looks okay. Ish, so far. And, and then I'll cut it down like so oh, can you see um i haven't actually cut myself on the stanley knife like while making something yet which is kind of lucky i did like scratch my nail not scratch it, uh, I like was cutting something and then it went like down and then went into my thumb's nail. That hurt quite a lot. I don't know how because your nails aren't usually that sensitive but everything. I think it did actually penetrate the nail but it wasn't a bad injury. So I'm just going to cut this down. Cut down there. I wish you could chisel this stuff. <laughs> It'd be so helpful if you could. And then I could. Uh. Another hard part is going to be making the Wii magazine. And for the magazines, on the inside, it is so messy. <laughs> because you have to like scrape out everything. It doesn't look too good. Actually, I'm going to shorten that a wee bit. I hope you guys can see this. Uh, that doesn't look too bad. It's a bit messy. <laughs> but. So now it looks like there's an actual. Wait, 
I'm just gonna. I'm really gotta get a new knife. Uh, this um, it looks a bit messy uh i need to go and get some i i need to get my scissors cuz i forgot my scissors and with the scissors i'm going to be able to cut off all this wee stuff and that's going to be well nice. Uh, so I'm going to run downstairs and get them. And with the power of editing, you won't have to see that. And we're back. And we have the scissors. And now I'm going to do as I said and just trim off the horrible looking bits at the bottom. Uh, I don't know if this happens to everyone, but... Making the soup is so messy, like, I had a bag full of, like, scrap EVA foam and stuff, and it, I don't know if that was just me or something, because I've watched, like, videos of people making their own suits, and it was, did not look as messy, uh, but... Cut those. And also with the scissors, I just cut off the edges and make it look a wee bit nicer. And it's so much easier for cutting the smaller bits. Like here. And. Oh gosh. I need to keep my. <laughs> my hands on screen because they just go off screen it doesn't look good for you guys because you don't see anything and I just uh, it's being stubborn and bonk. right we need to just sh shorten that out A bit more. And there we go. Oh gosh, there's a wee bit more. This this video is going to be quite a bit longer than the others, but there we go. How's that look? Looks quite nice. And my camera's not focusing. <laughs> and we'll just. Ugh, the scissors are really good for this stuff. It's like giving it a wee haircut or something. And now what I'm going to have to do is cut out an inside bit there. Right, uh, I'm gonna have it around eight centimeters in. I don't know actually. Uh, let's see. Let's have it go up six centimeters in. We're not. We haven't decided how fat it's gonna be. Um, six. Um, I'm thinking it's going to be around two point two centimeters. Uh, I'll just mark that in there. Can you guys see this? I need to move this up because <laughs> I really hope I just uh haven't done this whole video and it's all been out of shot. <laughs> That'd be a real bummer. So we'll mark that. This bit is always hard to do because you can hardly see. And then you cut off. You can hardly see the lines because it's all in the patterny bit. 
and we'll mark it half, we'll cut it halfway down and we'll do the same on this bit. Right, this is the messiest bit of the whole thing because you've got to cut it in and and it's the bit that I hate doing. <laughs> I hated cutting stuff in half, like, because I didn't buy any uh, thinner EVA foam, so it was all the same size. I should have bought thinner stuff. That's one of my regrets with this suit. One sec, I gotta trim this a bit. But. At some parts, scissors make it much easier for cutting in half. And my phone's not focusing. There we go. And, yeah. So that was... Uh, with the scissors, it makes it quite a bit easier uh, for, like, cutting other pieces in half. Like, long pieces, but pieces like this, where I got cut in half in there to there... That makes it really hard. Because what I want to have is a reloading mechanism where I can just plunk, put in another one. Like with my uh, DMR in the background. Because that is a reloading thing. Um, there we go. I think I got that. And then you. I don't want to pull it with my hands because that's the scariest thing because then it can just go it can like go into the other side here and you get a massive mark it doesn't look so good now I gotta just keep doing this for a few minutes and get out all this muck bad well not bad stuff stuff that i don't want but i've never tried this i might cut it into two bits and do one at a time might make it quicker let's see i've always had a good idea of making because I always liked, because I, I can't play Halo much, but when I play it, I like magnums, so I I find having two magnums pretty cool, so dual wield will be pretty fun, but we're just cutting these out and getting rid of them. Uh, this, this has always been one of the hardest bits to do. But it's got to be done if you want, like, a uh, knife holder. I just poked myself. A uh, knife holder, like, with my breastplate. I had to do this. Uh, the other for anything reloading. And uh, what's it called? The uh, pouches on my belt. Uh Speaking of pouches for the bell, I've got a video, another video idea, uh, where I make the pouches on another pouch on the belt that is going to have a clip on the top where you can just slot it back on, and you could like put your phone, your card, or uh, some other stuff in there, which I find I think will be pretty cool. But that'll be pretty hard, because I'm going to want that to be nice and fluid and stuff. So I can't have it, like, being out of shape and too boxy. And I might do a video on that sometime soon. So I've got quite a lot of build videos in my hand. But first... I'm going to have to finish this build series. Um, there'll, there'll be one each weekend. And 
I'm excited, and hopefully you guys are for them. But I'm going to have to start finding a way. Well, like a stand. Uh, I've got a tripod, but like a stand for the tripod to film it better. But there we go. We cut out all that gunk and stuff. So now it looks like that. And I'll just slot a magazine in there. I'll do it on the other one. So it's co. So I'll cut out another one, and you guys won't have to see that. Here we go. With the power of editing, I will have two. Right, and we're back, and now I have two. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing is gluing these together. Uh, they've both got the magazine bit, and they're same size, pretty much. I uh, cut them to the same size exactly. Uh, I traced the first one and then I cut off any excess bits or on each of them. And then I had dinner. <laughs> so now it's an hour or two after and I've got a full tummy. So let's finish this video. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be gluing them together now uh so it's gonna take a lot of glue to keep these together so i'll start here i gotta do this real quick uh I'll, actually i'm gonna get a couple handy in case i run out i need a full one there we go right here we go three two one It's kind of nerve-wracking doing the glue because if I don't do it quick enough then I'm a bit <laughs> in a bad Oh no, I ran and then shove some more This uses up glue like anything Get it exact in one dot and then we put pressure So, that's looking nice. And then the glue should glue itself. I used pretty much a whole stick right there. Rapid. Because it's kind of weird uh, with the glue. Uh, it goes slowly, um, like, uh, it's pretty slow when you, like, uh, do, when you do it slowly, the stuff doesn't, like, blast away, but when you do it quickly, like, as I just did, it goes all out at once. I don't know how, right, we'll just fill in, oh god. And the worst thing of using glue is this. It's like this web of glue. It's like spider web. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like, it gets everywhere and it's super annoying. Look at it all. And I just roll it up. Yeah. <laughs> Right, now let's uh, fill in the gaps, and then we'll wrap this video up. Ah, uh, it's getting everywhere. The spiderweb stuff, right. Uh, then... It's gonna be... I don't think there'll be three parts, because... Uh, I realised while I was eating dinner that this video is gonna be... Ex quite long so if anyone's watched up to this point thank you all thank you so much for watching this up to here 
Uh, if you did watch up to here, comment down below. Uh, I watched up to here. No, uh, comment down below Halo Magnum. Uh, but I realised how long these videos are. I was like, oh, that's a bit too long. So I reckon I'll have to make shorten the other ones and make them a bit shorter for you guys. Uh, but so far, this is nice. Uh, yeah, I'll make the videos shorter for you guys and... So there'll probably be more than three parts, maybe six or something, but here we go. Now we have our two magnums. Here's the uh, magazine slot as well. I'm going to test it once I get all this stuff off of me. I'll go get a spare, pair, uh, spare piece of EVA foam. Just cut these off. And then we'll wrap this video up for you guys. And now we. Ooh, that fits in nice. Bang, bang. <laughs> and that's gonna. Uh, that's probably going to be the end of today's video, guys. If you guys watched up to this point, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next parts. And I'll see you... Uh, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.